let's talk about denim trends for fall and winter 2023. Hello, I'm so glad that you joined me. My name is Kay and this is Dress For My Day. Today we're gonna to talk about all things denim and what's really modern and trending for 2023, especially for women, of course. And I think you're really gonna enjoy this. Today's video is sponsored by Native. All right, so here's what we're doing today, ladies. We're actually taking part one of Denim Week. I'm actually having Denim Week here and at my blog. My blog has the same name, Dress For My Day. And there and here, we are just talking denim this week. So I hope you'll join me there at dressformyday.com. If you haven't visited there, be sure to do that today. Of course, there's links below so that you can get there very easily. And if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll get a notification each time I upload a new blog post or on Saturdays, I can just send you my weekly email too. And that way you know what's going on both here and there. So today we're gonna to talk about denim trends, like what's really on trend and stylish for 2023 as we approach fall and winter when we start wearing a lot more jeans, right? So we're just gonna talk through that, but Saturday I actually have a bonus video and I'm going to share with you how to find the perfect pair of jeans for you. Oh yes, I am. <laughs> yes, we are gonna do that. We are gonna tackle that huge topic and it's a lot. I have a lot of great information to share with you in Saturday's video, so do not miss that one, okay? But today, we're gonna talk about what's trending, what's in style. You know, one of my biggest mantras here at Dress For My Day is for us ladies over 50, don't try to look younger than you are, just try to look modern. Add a few modern touches to your outfits and you will actually end up looking more youthful, more vibrant, and like your best self, and that's our goal. I think every woman needs at least one pair of jeans in her closet, and so today I'm gonna to tell you what to look for uh, if you really wanna look stylish. Before we do that, I wanna share a little bit about Native. You know, Native keeps me smelling good. <laughs> Yes, they do. I'm loving my native deodorants. I use them every day. They provide up to 72 hours of odor protection. They are aluminum and paraben free. In fact, they only include ingredients that you could recognize, things like coconut oil and shea butter. And they all smell so great. They have such a wide selection of scents. Recently, I've been using the grapefruit and bergamot which is so nice and citrusy. I'd say this is like so fresh. It really is my favorite and that's the one I use most of the time. But I've also received the jasmine and cedar and I would say this is a pretty sweet smelling deodorant. And I have sea salt and cedar and I would say this is one that probably a man or a woman could use and feel really comfortable in. It's got a little bit of a masculine touch to it and it reminds me of the Pacific Northwest. I've also been using the lilac and white tea bath wash, and this smells really a little sophisticated to me. There's definitely strong hints of tea and just a little bit of lilac, so fresh. I love the way that native body washes lather up so nicely. They leave my skin feeling silky soft and nicely hydrated, never sticky, never leaving any residue on my skin after I rinse. And this is the first time that I received one of their deodorant and body sprays. And this one is that sea salt and cedar, so it really could be used by man or woman very nicely. But I'm really enjoying them, especially after a workout. They really just make you feel fresh. They apply light as air. It's just a cooling light mist that dries on contact and leaves you smelling great and feeling fresh. They're powered by air, so you don't have to worry about the ozone or anything. They're made with just six ingredients, including nitrogen, which is an ozone-friendly natural propellant. Now, I love these classic scents from Native, but you also might wanna check out their new autumn collection. Instead of the usual autumn scents, they are leaning into the Southwest autumn. I'm familiar with that. I lived in Arizona for years, and so these scents are really familiar to me. They have vanilla and cactus flower, desert grass and sandalwood, honey and saguaro, and sage and sweet citrus. All of those sound really intriguing to me. You can get 33% off of a native bestsellers pack, which is three items, like a deodorant and a body wash, a body spray, 
for 33% off if you use my code KHARMS4 and go through my link below that's in the description box and also in the first comment. The best sellers pack is normally $36, but you're gonna get it for just $24 if you use my code and that link below. So I really appreciate Native sponsoring today's video and I hope you'll be sure to check them out. So let's talk jeans now. What is in vogue? Well, would it surprise you if I said everything? <laughs> I know that's crazy. Maybe that's not helpful, but truly I'm seeing the whole gamut. I'm reading that skinny jeans are back or that they're coming back or that yes, you can wear your skinny jeans. And I'm also of course still seeing and hearing about straight leg jeans and boot cut jeans and flare jeans and wide leg jeans. We're seeing jeans that are full length and we're seeing jeans that are cropped or ankle length. In fact, one of the biggest trends right now are puddling jeans. You know what that is? <laughs> you won't see me wearing them, so I won't be showing you me wearing them, but I'll show you some here from a store or two. So it's just when your jeans just puddle on the floor. Now, I kind of think you gotta be a little cooler than I am to do that, so I won't be wearing that trend, but that is very in vogue right now. But let's talk about some of the aspects of jeans or the features that you're going to see on jeans that really, I think, make your jeans look really modern and current for 2023 for the fall and winter. So first of all, like I said, we're seeing all those silhouettes. We're seeing wide leg jeans. We're seeing straight jeans. We're seeing boot cut and flare jeans, which I don't have any of right now. I don't, don't want to show you any boot cut or flare today. I just don't have any in my closet right now. And my Ones from last year are packed away and I just didn't want to pull them out yet. <laughs> but we're also seeing jeans of all lengths. We are seeing full length jeans, especially like I said, in those flares, the wide leg and that sort of thing. But we're also still seeing ankle length and crop jeans. So let's talk through a little bit about those and how they should fit you, where they should end and that sort of thing because a, a woman wants to know, right? So your full length jeans, let's just go there first. I think that it's so smart to have a good pair of just straight full length jeans in your closet. They are gonna be so versatile and this silhouette works for most women. I would say that straight leg jeans are a classic and they work really well for most body shapes. Not all, maybe. Maybe you're one of those who really, you think straight legs just don't work for me. But I think for most of us, they work really nicely and they are just so classic and so neat looking. And that is still very in style. I don't think straight leg jeans will ever go out of style, really. So you can get a straight leg jean that is a little wider in the leg, a little roomier. And of course, you can also get straight leg jeans that are almost like a skinny leg. Uh, they're kind of a cigarette leg or just a slim fit straight leg. And so kind of there you just have to go with what works best for your body type. And we're gonna talk about that more Saturday, but we're seeing all of those available right now. And so the, the key there is just you do you. When it comes to length, if you're going for the full length, you're gonna want your jeans to hit right above your, your foot or right onto your foot. And that's going to give you some versatility because then you probably can wear them with shoes like loafers and sneakers and flats, but you also probably can get by with wearing a low heel, maybe even something up to about two inches with them, as I've done here with my straight jeans. But honestly, one of the best things I think we're seeing these days, and we have been for years now, are the cropped or ankle length. They give you so much more versatility when it comes your, to your footwear. If you wear a jean that is intentionally ankle length or a cropped length, that they just may be called different things, those jeans should ideally hit you right at the ankle bone or just above the ankle bone. And if you're wearing your jeans there, what that means is you get to wear just kind of any shoe you want to. You could wear a flat, you could wear a sneaker, you can wear a loafer, but you could also wear a small heel or a boot. Uh, you could wear a boot that's up to you know two or three inches if you want to, and those cropped or ankle length jeans are going to look great with it. It's very on trend to show a little bit of ankle or a little bit of your boot later on. It just looks so smart. Now, I know that some of my viewers really don't like the cropped or ankle length. I, I keep hearing that people think that's like a high waiter or where's the flood or whatever. 
Honestly, I think you need to kind of think if that doesn't have to do with some messaging that you heard in your childhood or something like that. And that's why it brings up those, those ideas because this is just a trend that is, I don't think it's going anywhere. I think we're going to be wearing our pants. This is at least going to be an acceptable length for pants probably from here on. I just think it's so easy to style, like I said, with different shoes. And it's also gives you a little bit more wiggle room as far as the perfect length for you. So definitely don't shy away from those. They're so fun to wear, give it a try. We're gonna to continue to see high rise jeans, mid rise jeans, and even low rise jeans. But be warned about those low rise jeans. They are hard for most of us to wear unless you are super nice and thin. You don't have any you know, bulk around the top of your hips or anything. You're probably gonna to want to stay away from low rise jeans. Mid-rise jeans fit most women and they are flattering on most body shapes. However, I find that high-rise jeans really are the most flattering, especially if you have an hourglass shape or perhaps even an inverted triangle shape because they are going to hit you at your most narrow place and then they're just gonna fall really nice. So, and also if you have a little bit of a tummy, like an apple shape, or an oval shape, then a, having a tummy is really a good idea to wear that high rise jeans because you tuck that tummy <laughs> into those jeans. It just is very much forgiving. Now, I'm gonna talk more, like I said, on Saturday about fit, so hang with me for that. But the main, you do want to look for the rise that works best for you and that doesn't leave that muffin top. We don't want that. But we're gonna to continue to see rises of all sorts. So just know how to find the ones that work best for you. Now, some of the details on jeans that we're gonna to continue to see include that frayed or raw edge hemline. So that's really like no hem at all, right? It means you can even cut your jeans off to the ideal length for you. So I kind of like that trend. I think it looks kind of fun and interesting. It looks very nice and casual, but it also is convenient <laughs> to be able to just cut your jeans off to the length that works nicely for you and then kind of fray them out a little bit. We're gonna to continue to see some distressing. We're gonna to continue to see variation in the wash. We're going to continue to see some holes and rips in jeans. You don't have to wear them if you don't want to, but they are still in style. And we're going to continue to see different washes. So here I'm showing you some very light wash jeans. I love a light wash jean. It is very, very on trend. They're not the most forgiving. In fact, they can add some bulk to your appearance. So if you want to wear them and you're like me, you kind of got wide hips, kind of got a wide rear end, whatever, but you still want to wear those light wash jeans, then opt for something light up top too so that it creates that kind of a column effect. If you wear something dark up top with light wash jeans, then it is really going to emphasize your lower portion of your body. So instead, when you're wearing those light wash jeans, then wear something light up top, some light colored footwear, just make that whole look very streamlined, low intensity and low contrast intensity, and you can wear those really successfully. But dark wash is always a good idea. They're so elegant looking, they look a little bit more elevated. A black wash, a true black wash is always smart, so slenderizing and very sophisticated and classy looking. But one of the things that's really on trend this year when it comes to black is an antique black or a faded black. And just gray jeans are really on trend again this year. And I think they're really a lot of fun. So maybe if you already have that dark wash jean, you already have that black jean, Add a pair in an antique or faded black or a gray. I think you'll really enjoy styling those. All right, let's talk a little bit more about those silhouettes. Like I said, I don't have any flare jeans or a boot cut jean. A flare jean generally like goes down really narrow on the leg and then flares out at the bottom. Whereas a boot cut jean starts to go out at the knee or just below the knee in order to accommodate like a cowboy boot, right? So that's kind of where a boot cut jean comes from. So that's the difference in those two. So choose the one that works best for your body. If you have really skinny legs, then I think you're probably better off to go with a boot cut jean that adds a little volume to your legs and makes it not look like your legs are quite so thin. Um, 
but you know, you do you there. Those those flares and those boot cuts are both very in style. I do have some wide leg jeans to show you. These are some full length wide leg jeans by Joe's. These are the Mia and they are black and I love these. I got these in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I think these are so smart. Of course, you're gonna to have to have these jeans hemmed or cut off to be a specific length for you. So these just happen to work for me really nicely with a two inch booty and I'm just going to leave them that way. But if you want to wear your full leg, full length jeans with things like sneakers, then you're going to need to cut them off or have them hemmed to that place and then you're kind of limited. So that's just something to consider. I also got these lighter wash full leg jeans and they are really full down at the bottom there. I did have these cut off and hemmed up for me so that I can wear them also with a like a two inch booty here is what I'm wearing them with and I'm really enjoying them. So jeans like these, they feel good to me. They feel good on my legs. They feel kind of freeing. <laughs> They're not tight you know, on you. They're not hot. They just feel so good. But on the other end, you are limited a little bit with your footwear because you're gonna to have to wear the same height of footwear with them over and over. And if you're like me and you get them you know, hemmed for like a two inch heel, then I can't just go real comfortable like with a sneaker, unless I wear maybe a wedge sneaker or something. So those are just things to consider if you're ready to try out this full length, wide leg jean silhouette, which I think is so fun. But I will say that I think this is probably a trend that will be moving on out in the next year or two. It's just kind of my prediction. I don't see it as a classic. I think this is something that's gonna cycle in and out over the years. Let's talk a little bit more about that fuller leg, but the cropped length. We're seeing a lot of those in kind of, they're a full leg like these from Madewell. This is their perfect vintage wide leg crop length jean. But you notice they're not as wide as my other jeans that I just showed you. They're just away from the leg and they really kind of have a straight silhouette though. So I love this length and I love this uh, silhouette of jean. I think it's a little freeing also. Uh, it just doesn't feel as constricting or as tight and as hot as like a skinny jean or something. And the way to make this really work nicely for you, of course, is first of all to get a jean that fits you really nice. And then secondly, to give it a little front tuck or give it a tuck all the way around and belt it, wear a shirt that's close to the body. And another thing you can do with any of these, especially wider leg jean silhouettes, is if you wear a little puffing at the shoulder as I did here, then that actually helps to create more of that hourglass shape. It, it emphasizes the shoulders, making the waist look smaller. And then of course you balance out with that wider leg jean and it really can create a really nice look. So some of the, you know, wearing your jeans, choosing the right jeans for the fall really has more to do with thinking about styling them than it does about the jeans. Like I said, jeans are just, we're just seeing every kind. You got so much freedom in choosing what kind of jean you want to wear. Yes, you can still wear your skinny jeans if you want to. I don't think they're as in style still as they were several years ago. I read occasionally places that they're back, skinny jeans are back, but I'm just not really seeing them a whole lot in like the fashion magazines and the fashion websites that are kind of the in the know kind of places. I'm just not seeing them styled there a lot. And I kind of think we're all getting to that point where we enjoy a little bit more comfort in our jeans. And so we're kind of enjoying those wider or at least the straighter silhouettes. That said, if you still love wearing your skinny jeans, then go for it, but make sure you style them in modern ways. Choose skinny jeans that maybe have a little bit more um, volume at the bottom. So right around the ankle, you don't want jeans that really hug your ankle, but jeans that have a little bit of straightness there at the bottom, kind of a cigarette silhouette is one of the things they're called, or just a slim fit straight jean. So it kind of looks like a skinny jean. It's gonna give you that skinny jean feel and the skinny jean effect, but it's gonna be a little bit fuller at the ankle. And I think that looks a little bit more modern. Also, modern choices that you can make if you wanna wear your skinny jeans, wear you some platform sneakers, wear some loafers, 
wear some of those uh, retro trainer sneakers would look really good with that. Now, I'm not showing you any here with me because I don't have any skinny jeans. I don't want any skinny jeans. I'm not doing it. <laughs> so I won't be showing you any, but if you love your skinnies, you go ahead, just try to use some modern elements in your outfit to really make that look more 2023. Now let's talk about a couple of other denim things that are really on trend this year. And number one, of course, is denim jackets just continue to be a staple in our closet. I definitely suggest investing in good, just a good basic denim trucker jacket or boyfriend jacket. I love my Levi's jackets and I just don't think you can beat those. They're such a nice oversized fit. They just feel good. They're just good quality. So that's definitely my first priority if you're just adding a denim jacket into your closet. But if you already have a denim jacket or two and you want to add something fresh, I suggest you look for one of these that has a raw edge. Once again, just like raw edge hems on jeans, we're seeing raw edges on the bottoms of denim jackets. And I think that looks really fresh and modern. Are you gonna be wearing it five years from now? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. That's why I say to have that Levi's trucker jacket first, but the raw edge is very modern for 2023. Then the other denim thing that we're just really seeing this fall and winter are denim skirts. I love denim skirts and I really like that they got a makeover or a facelift in the last year. I was getting a little tired. I felt like denim skirts were looking a little tired but because we were, they were just the same thing every year, right? This year we're seeing the longer midi or maxi length denim skirts. Now, you know what, maybe you wore those in the 70s too. <laughs> I didn't, but they are, you know, things just, they cycle, don't they? And that's kind of what's happened with these denim skirts. We are seeing the longer ones. We're also seeing this deconstructed jeans look in skirts. So it kind of looks like you just took a pair of jeans, you took them apart and you made a skirt out of them. In fact, maybe that's what they're doing here I don't know but this first skirt that I'm showing you does have that deconstructed blue jeans effect they are going on and in fact the slit is in the back of this skirt and I'm seeing that sometimes so I love this skirt though I think it fits really nicely it runs true to size and it's that nice midi length I guess you'd say just really works really great. Now here's a second denim skirt that's a little bit different, but still that midi length. This one's from J. Crew, and it does have a slit in the front, but not just a real long slit or high slit. Some of the slits I'm seeing in these skirts are really immodest, <laughs> and they're just a little too much for me. But this one I just think is so nice. I did size down in this one to a 29. I'm usually like a 30 and I, I'm wearing a 29. The skirt fits really nicely. In fact, I find that denim skirts a lot of times run large. So just kind of keep that in mind. But the, you know, the ways you can wear a denim skirt are just endless. You could of course wear some wedges. You could wear some slides or mules. You could wear sneakers. You're gonna be able later on to wear boots like I'm doing here. So there's just so many great things to look forward to if you buy yourself a great midi or maxi length denim skirt. All right, so those are a few of my thoughts on what's really trending. And so I guess just to sum it all up, really just about anything goes and you're not gonna go wrong. I think the main thing you want to do is when you're wearing those jeans, get some jeans that really fit you, that work well for you, which I'm gonna help you do on Saturday, and then accessorize them or style them in a way that feels modern and fresh and up to date. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some good things out of it. If you did, would you give me a thumbs up on your way out? If you haven't done so before, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you here every week. Uh, leave me a comment below what you think about the jean trends. Keep it nice, keep it gentle. Okay, I've tried to be gentle and kind and gracious here, so I hope you'll do the same. But I always welcome your opinion and I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to use that code KHARMS4 and go through the link below to Native and get 33% off of their Native Best Sellers Pack. 33% off, that's a pretty good deal, and I think you'll enjoy that. Thanks so much, ladies, and I'll see you again on Saturday.